But I received this question this week. It says, uh, Matthew writes in Matthew uh, 24 and verse 34 that, um, truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. And the, the person says, what does this mean? Who is this generation? Are we perhaps this generation? So this is a, a passage of scripture that's, I think, been misinterpreted in a couple of ways. When Jesus, at the end of, near the end of this first section of the Olivet Discourse, of this great sermon he gives from the Mount of Olives, now, one, I, one misunderstanding, I believe, of this verse is, is from the preterists. Now, preterists believe that um, this sermon that Jesus gives here, the Olivet Discourse, that all of this was fulfilled in A.D. 70, that this has to do with, they call it a coming of Jesus, a judgment coming upon Jerusalem in 70 A.D. and the destruction of the temple. So when Jesus says to those listening to him there back in A.D. 33, you know, this generation won't pass away until all these things take place. They take that to be the generation that Jesus was speaking to, that that generation wouldn't pass away till all these things took place. And they place all of this in uh, A.D. 70 is when, when this all occurs. The problem with that view is if you just go up reading a few verses earlier, it talks about the sun being darkened, the moon not giving its light, the stars falling from the sky, the powers of the heavens being shaken. The sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky. The Son of Man will come on the clouds of power and great glory. He'll send his angels with a great forth, uh, with a great trumpet. They'll gather the elect from the four winds from one end of the sky to the other. And then all of this is one long sermon all the way over into chapter 25. And in chapter 25, Jesus says the Son of Man is going to come in glory and all the angels with him. He'll sit on his glorious throne, gather all the nations before him, and then he will separate them like a shepherd separating the sheep from the goats. Well, none of that happened in A.D. 70. So to, to, to limit this to that generation, I think, just doesn't uh, get, do justice to all the statements that are made in, in this passage that just don't fit in A.D. 70. But another way this has been taken is if you go back up to verse 32, Jesus said, Now learn the parable of the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and put forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, recognize that he's at the door. I say to you, this generation won't pass away till all these things are fulfilled. Now, many people believe that the fig tree blossoming here is the, the reconstitution um, of the modern state of Israel in 1948. And so since that was a symbol for the nation of Israel, they'll say, well, when Israel became a nation, then that generation won't pass away till all these things are fulfilled. Well, we're 72 years now beyond the uh, reestablishment of the, of the modern state of Israel. And so you start running into problems of how long is a generation? It was 40 years, and then people said, well, no, it's 60 years. And when it didn't happen, they said, it's 80 years. And some are even saying now it could be 100 years. But I think, again, that's a misunderstanding of this prophecy. The, the parable of the fig tree and the fig tree putting forth its leaves and so on is not here a picture of the nation of Israel. It's a picture of all the things that Jesus has foretold in Matthew 24 coming to pass. So my understanding of this passage is Matthew 24 is about the future time of the tribulation period. And the generation that's alive during the tribulation that sees all those signs, that generation won't pass away until all those things are fulfilled. So this is looking at a, at a future generation. It's not a past generation that, that uh, was alive in AD 70. It's not the present generation today, but it's a future generation that will be alive and they'll see all these signs Jesus spoke of in Matthew 24. And that generation that sees all these things, he's saying, when you see these things, you can know that this generation, that is the people living during the tribulation period, that generation won't pass away until uh, all those things are fulfilled.